Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, an oracle, and a prophetess, okay? Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back, you guys. Um, I'm going to be starting off with some kipper today. You guys have obviously already seen the title of this video, okay? I don't know what's going to come out in this reading yet, but I can tell you the energies I'm feeling already. Um, we're in this full moon energy in Aries, okay? It's closing out a lot of stuff right now for people. There is a lot of endings happening so that divine unions uh, and all kinds of, not just for divine unions, but their destinies, right? Our destinies. So we can align more, okay? Um, so there's a lot of releasing, um, still like there's this purging going on and also um, this really beautiful kind of like self-love, self-healing energy, okay? In the divine feminine and the divine masculines okay now this full moon you guys is really messing with me okay it's an aries i am an aries uh rising aries moon okay um i feel uh because i'm highly highly empathic okay like i pick up on energy like that and my palms feel sweaty today i'm very anxious okay and i feel um and i have no reason to be anxious i have no reason to feel this way right <laughs> yeah, the, the, the stag, this is where I was getting at, the stag, right? The stag is the male, the masculine, okay? And that's why that just moved as I'm saying this. I'm picking up on the energies of the divine masculine collectively, and they are nervous, and they are anxious, and things don't feel good in their life right now, okay? They're not happy, they don't feel good, and that's what I'm picking up on. So, of course, this morning I'm starting off with the divine feminine, divine masculine. We're going to see what's going on. Um, in this collective energy and um, I feel I feel chaos I feel like a tower I feel chaos I feel like arguing and fighting and um, deception betrayal it's like all that energy okay so um, and it's even making me like more anxious even talking about it so let's get into the reading you guys keep in mind this is general okay so take what's for you leave the rest if this message is for you and it resonates with you guys and your situation be sure to like the video, okay? Tie your energy into my channel. Subscribe to the channel. And come back for more, you guys. But seriously, any any uh, reader that you watch on YouTube, like your favorite readers, you know, um, I always like their videos and subscribe. Make sure I subscribe and hit the notification bell because I want to see what they have to say. You know what I mean? Um, and it helps tie your energy in. So when we pull collectively, all right, we're ready. Wealthy man and bad health. Okay, 13 and 31. Look at that. The choice of numbers. Backwards. All right, so here's the masculine. The masculine is not doing well right now. I told you guys. First card out. This is what I'm feeling. This is why I'm doing this reading today. I mean, you guys know if you've been watching that I'm doing these pretty much daily right now. Okay, because the energy is shifting so much, like insanely. And today is a huge, like explosion in the collective today i feel tower moments all over the damn place so someone is feeling really bad they're hurting they're heartbroken um they feel like they feel scared okay that you're gonna refuse them if they come back they're scared that they really messed up their life like they're scared they, they keep making mistakes they they feel like a fool all right whoa message of concern look at that feminine a feminine, right? The feminine receives a message of concern. And then we got 13 and 14 out here. The universe is intervening. Okay. They're not messing around right now. There is a lot of stuff going on with this Mercury retrograde, the moon cycles, lion's gate, the 1010 portal. I mean, holy shit, you guys. Holy shit, right? All right, so we've got communication coming in, something that's that's concerning the feminine, all right? And also something that she's holding her heart. She's holding her heart. I feel like it's this communication that um, that you've been waiting for or that finally arrives, right? And it really touches your heart, okay? I'm hearing gripping. It's gripping, okay? So look at that bottom of the deck. The masculine again, thinking of the feminine. What am I going to say? What am I going to write? What am I going to text? What am I going to send? They're doing a lot of thinking here. A lot of thinking. Toil and labor after that. They're working on things here. But I feel like the masculine is like just kind of diving into their work. <laughs> because 
like they don't want to deal with everything happening at home. Like their work right now is their getaway. It's their rescue. It's their it's their safe place, okay? Because when they're not at work, they, they're they around this karmic, okay? And most of you guys, well, not most of you guys, but most of you watching this, or if not all of you, <laughs> like your person has been with a karmic, is with a karmic, um, or there's been like a karmic involved here, okay? And um, they they want out so they're diving into into their job also with this toil and labor it's telling me that this person is like working and thinking non-stop on how to do things how to how to uh bring uh communication and to the feminine here but right after that is despair I'm telling you guys they and you're sitting over here like this as the mature woman that's the divine feminine looking good now i this don't pay attention to the gray hair okay some of you guys might have gray hair whatever gray hair is fucking gorgeous i can't wait until my hair turns gray <laughs> i know it sounds silly but i really can't um but you guys are sitting here like you're you're sitting pretty your vibration is super high you're minding your own business you're focused on yourself you're handling life very maturely you're handling all of this maturely you've handled this maturely you have um kept yourself poised and graceful your energy is calm cool as a cucumber and they know it. And that's why your energy is like this. And their energy is like this. Okay? False person. There's that karmic. And the masculine. There's the DM with his mask. Okay? He's definitely been deceptive to himself. Been deceptive to the karmic. I feel for a lot of you, the karmic is deceptive. Okay? It's like this, like, uh, it's a very toxic, like, uh, it's a vicious cycle here. I feel between the masculine and this karmic right after that the lovers so someone's been a false person here when it comes to making decisions in love about love okay they've been watching you okay that keeps coming out you're being watched you're being watched by both of these people both for many of you the karmic knows who you are and they're watching you from afar, social media, whatever. And so is the masculine, okay? It's like they both, it's like they both are obsessed with you. The masculine wants you and the, and the, and the karmic wants to be you, okay? All right, so let's get some tarot out here. I'm gonna use Game of Thrones tarot, you guys. I am so excited. I, I ordered a beautiful Halloween um, jack-o'-lantern uh, tarot deck and it's coming today and I'm gonna be using it for the rest of October. Five of coins, look at that. Five of pentacles, absolutely. This masculine is in a shit storm right now. Their life is in an absolute tower moment. They are feeling hurt, despair, regret, shame. They feel like a fool. They don't know what to do. They feel stuck heartbroken how do I heal my heart some of them might actually be uh you know um having some health issues okay maybe they got uh COVID or they're you know whatever I don't know but there there, there could be that as well but for me this energy is just straight up it's this they're in a bad way they're in a bad way okay and it's like they need you you're healing to them just like this nurse here is healing this patient working on the chart, talking to this patient. Like you are like this. Your energy is like that for this for this masculine. The DM is missing you. They need you. They feel like they need you. They want you, but you are healing to them. And right now, they feel like they want to talk to you. They want to connect with you. They 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 need to hear your voice. They need to hear what you have to say about what they have to say. Like it's all of that, but they're scared. They're scared to come out from the cold here. They're, they're feeling so out in the cold, like their life, it's like a chill around their energy, right? Like it's not happy. It's quite sad because it's like they've been doing it, like they do this to themselves, you know? All right, what else for the DM, please? And what messages do you have for, for the collective watching? What messages do you have for the collective watching for today? Energies around the DM and the collective today. The Knight of Spears, look at that. Mr. Sir Jamie Lannister, okay, of Casterly Rock in the Game of Thrones. We've got Arya Stark here. <laughs> My Game of Thrones fans out there, any of you guys, let me know below. All right, so we have someone who is wanting to passionately uh, ride towards you, communicate. 
they've chosen this wand, right? That's like the Ace of Wands. We see it progress all through the, the wand suits of the tarot, right? It starts with like the Ace of Wands, right? And then the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Four. But you see all throughout the different masculines holding, but like the Page, the Knight, the King, right? So this person definitely feels like they are energetically like not on your level okay because they're coming in as a knight and you're the mature woman okay now they did come out as the wealthy man so some of you your person could be wealthy you know well off or just very comfortable and financially but something tells me with this wealthy man that their finances have not been so great They've been taking some major hits financially um, in just different ways. Okay, everyone's situation's different. That's why this Five of Pentacles is here, out in the cold. Because they've, they've taken losses. They've taken losses here. All right. Um, and that also is part of this despair and stuff, right? It's like because, I, you know, and I think I said this yesterday in the reading that they're under judgment by the universe because of the choices that they've made, right? And this is a divine connection. So the universe is like forcing their hand on it, okay? That's why I'm feeling this extreme anxiety. And this is all this energy that I was saying. This is all what I was feeling. Exactly. Like. <laughs> okay, so they wanna come in. They wanna communicate, all right? Um, but I also am getting this energy that this person is like, if they've broken away from the karmic, um, they might be, they could have been like talking to other people, you know, like low key kind of like behind the karmic's back and the karmic found out. Um, and it's like this energy that I'm getting that they want to talk to you, but they like right now, like they're kind of like, I feel like kind of rebounding or playing the field, um, or whatever, but there's no, um, but there's no way that well, let me see. I was going to say, there's no way that, you know, that kind of stuff will ever fill that void. This person is still, like, not learning the lessons. Look at this. Speaking of learning the lessons. Holy shit. Justice. This is karmic lessons. It's the scales. It's using the sword to make karmic huge decisions, right? That are a part of your path, not a part of your path. And King of Cups. All right. So we have King of Cups here. Beautiful Jon Snow. Mmm. Yum, yum. But anyways, he doesn't give his cup away, right? Like, he's holding on to that cup. Like, mm-mm. And like, he's in the snow. It's cold. He feels he's out in the cold again, right? Because he hasn't given his love away. He hasn't opened his heart. He has all this love, but he hasn't showed it, expressed it. And it's caused this imbalance. And he knows that he's done this injustice, right? So he's thinking, 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 how do I make things right? How do I bring balance back to this, okay? They're being energetically like drawn back, okay? Like they know too, like, but the universe is inter intervening, okay? Queen of Spears, bottom of the deck. All right, give me the energies, please, around the masculine at this time. King of Swords, told you. Using the sword, look at that. The King of Swords is very, he's brutally honest. He's very honest, very upfront, right? He tells the truth. This is also communication, but this is also more cold. This is the, the the Night King in the Game of Thrones. He literally lives in the Icelands, like in the snow. And he's kind of mean. He's evil in the movie, right? Like, But I feel what this is, is like, this is that energy right now of the masculine, because I specifically asked for energy around the masculine. Their whole world has gone cold around them, like I said, right? They're holding the sword. For a lot of you guys, they've already used this sword to cut the karmic out of their life. But this is getting ready to take action. So either they have just done it, they're doing it right now, today, because um, this is energies for today, or it's coming in very quickly. That they, They've already gone cold. They've already gone cold towards the karmic. Cutting them out. Cutting them out so they can communicate some passion. Words of passion to, to, to the one that they want. The one that they think of. The one that the King of Cups is holding that cup of love for, right? All right. Where are we at? 14 minutes. Give me incoming energies, please. Seven of Spears. Taking a stand and fighting. 
this is what I feel right now. I feel that this masculine too is like shaking in their boots here out in the cold. They're afraid you're going to, that when they come in, that you're going to have all your spears up guarded, blocking them, right? Look at that ace of spears, bottom of the deck, but they're coming. Two of cups right after that. They're coming for their soulmate. They want to be with you, right? So they're getting single death card, ending things. King of spears. So they could take action. All right. Towards their passions, towards their desires, which is you. That's you. That's what that that's what they desire at this time. Okay. Um, but you know, this person, you know, this person's just ending something with someone, or they're still about to end something with someone. And this person needs to heal. Like they still need to raise their vibration. Okay. Um, now when they do speak their truth, that helps bring them into this king energy, right? But when they come in, it's this knight energy. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, and you know, um, just use extreme discernment because keep in mind, they just got out of something. I don't care if it was for a couple months with this person or years with this person, right? Like it doesn't matter. They need to heal some stuff. All right. So let's see. For the collective, please, some of the energies ooh, around the collective, the DM, the divine feminine. That was a victory. I just saw a victory. There is a win, a victory coming in, you guys. That's for sure. All right, let's see here. <laughs> so I was thinking in my mind right now, what is the energy between the karmic and the DM? Look at that shit. Hostilities. Look at his sword up. Look at that. Two cards. Two cards with the masculine with his, with his sword up. This one, he's actually getting ready to fucking use it, right? Like this one, he's holding it. He's thinking. He's like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then he's like, I'm doing it. This is it. He's taking action. Hostilities. I told you. I told you I could hear arguing, fighting. It's it's betrayal, deception. It's not. It's like, Argh. there's this really like not good energy between them, right? So... This is the energy between them right now. A lot of fighting. A lot of different situations going on here. I am specifically getting that a karmic lied about a pregnancy here with the, um, with the masculine. Okay. And for some of you, uh, the masculine did get this karmic pregnant. Okay. Um, and they're afraid. They're afraid that you will find out or what you will think. This karmic also wants to cause uh, hostilities between you and the masculine. Okay? Like, I'm really feeling that. This is like, just, whoa. All right. Incoming energies, please, around the DM. Incoming energies around the DM, please. These cards, like, are flipping, but there we go. Attachment. Look at that. Taking off the chain. See, she's chained to the post. They're getting themselves unchained, unchained, unattached. Their whole world is cold and gray. See, look at that. This masculine is taking off the mask. They're ready to face you, face forward. See, all of these cards here, like none of this is someone with their back turned. Like, there's been a lot of that in these readings. The masculine with their back turned. People with their back turned. This is all facing forward. Facing things head on. Taking the mask off and facing you head on. That's what this is here. Okay. Um, I feel like... Door to value. All right, so again, finances are looking really good for, for the Divine Feminine, okay? Um, you guys, like major doors of opportunity are opening for you, okay? You guys are, again, you're looking good to everyone, okay? To everyone, especially, especially these two. 
Okay. And um, jealousy, envy. They're watching, right? Karmic is looking at you and they're just so jealous, so envious, okay? And a lot of that has caused hostilities between um, the karmic and the DM, okay? Because of you, right? False. This was a false connection. You know what I mean? It was a karmic connection. Like, it's just, it's funny. Look at this. A lot of jealousy between the karmic and the masculine too. Karmic is jealous of you. The DM is jealous of the attention that you get. They are envious that like someone could possibly have you, be with you, get you. Okay. This masculine is also causing arguments or did start causing arguments with the um, feminine. I mean the, uh, the karmic. Okay. There's a... Uh, valuable things that are val of value to you right opening up okay rest and rejuvenation here take time breathe love on yourself this is also for me completion of cycles like it's a uh, 19 which breaks down to 10 what else what other messages please what are incoming energies for the feminine cornucopia look at that shit Sorry, guys. You know what? I've been like, and I feel it's just the energies, but I don't usually cuss a lot, like in general. And I don't usually cuss a lot, especially in my readings. Like I'll say like, I'll drop an F-bomb here and there. I'll say shit or something like that. But I've been like on a roll, so I'm sorry. Okay, cornucopia, look. The thinking woman. It's a karmic. Look at that. She's thinking, oh, I'm just about, I'm losing so much in my life right now. I'm losing so much in my life right now. Okay, but this is you guys too. Like you guys have been doing a lot of thinking, right? Now I feel that when this abundance comes in, when you hear from this person and the harvest comes in and the harvest is here and the sun is shining down and the butterflies are flying all around, you guys are gonna be like, for many of you, you're gonna be like, okay, like I hear you and whatever, you know, I, I, I appreciate you. You'll say whatever you gotta say, right? Like you'll speak your truth, but you're gonna tell them, I have to think about it. Like I have to think about it. You know what I mean? Which is good, which is good. Oops. Anxiety, ooh. Okay, so it flipped over here on top of the false person card and it's that, it, that's the freaking feeling I was feeling today. Just like that. Yeah, masks are falling off. Look at that, contracts. Contracts are ending, okay, like this person has ended a long a commitment like or a, a relationship or a long-term commitment with this person okay Con contracts have ended all right another blindfold a lot of deception between this you know um and i feel that the masculine has been deceptive to you guys as well right like they have been deceptive and that's why they're in despair like they've lied to you about stuff in the past or they've lied about certain things um, they're really afraid to like come forward and speak a truth journey, but they are ready to embark on this journey. I think this came out in the other reading. I don't know. I do so many readings, guys. I get mixed up. <gasps> Happy family. Look at that. And then the angel of balance is coming into your world to bless you. You literally have the justice skills like three times in this reading because you had the justice card earlier. So they're coming in to, to bring balance, happiness, 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 but and harmony. That's why I want to say happy and harmony at the same time. Happy family. Look at that. This is what's coming in for the divine feminine. All right, let's get some messages from my message deck. So the my whole life feels out of control. Hell yeah, it does. I told you guys, their whole life is falling down around them. You know what I mean? And they're like, how did I get here again? Like, how did I get in this situation? I feel like a fool. I told you guys. <laughs> they feel foolish as hell. All I want to do is to be back together. See? They want this with you. They want that with you. You guys could have children with this person or you have children. They have children. Maybe you guys are blending your families or you will be blending your families. But I feel for many of you, you will have children or a child with this individual. Okay. With this DM. 
all I'm ready to manifest with you. See, they did not manifest with you in the past. And ever since they didn't do that and they chose wrong, right? They chose the other way. Free will. Um, the universe has been crashing down on them. Please don't give up on me. I need your help. I told you guys that they need you. They feel like you're healing to them. They feel like you will heal them. Like speaking with you, talking with you, coming back into union with you. Like it will just bring them back to life in a way. Okay? Deep emotions being revealed brings a happy reunion. <laughs> that's what I just said. How funny. Yep, that's what's coming in, you guys. All right. I have never been so attracted to someone. Yeah, there's extreme attraction here. Uh-huh. Like best sex ever type. Everything. Our love deserves a second chance. Oh, yeah. This masculine is going through it. I think of reaching out all the time. Yeah. They do, they do. I'm stressing out about reaching out. <laughs> I think of reaching out all the time and then I'm stressing out about reaching out. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't want anyone else to have you. Yeah, I told you guys that earlier too. It's they, they are really um, jealous of like, you may be talking to other um, individual, like, you know, or the attention you get. Someone has gotten readings about you. That came out, I think, before, right? I don't know. But um, definitely, I think that, like, maybe it's the karmic who is watching, like, probably readings on YouTube, um, stuff like that. I don't know if they would actually go pay to get a reading done, but maybe. I don't know. Probably. They're, they sound pretty crazy. Um, and the masculine as well. I feel like the masculine is, has gotten a reading or gotten some type of like something along the lines of that, right? I, I was protecting you from myself. Okay. See, they knew they had problems and they, I, they still know they do. That's why they're stressing out and they've just made it worse. Right? So my pride and ego hold me back. Yep. They got to learn. They got to learn death of the ego. You have to come from a place of a heart not anywhere else. I've put a lot of thought into this. I am ready to communicate. Yeah. A lot of thinking. Where are we at? 27 minutes. One more, please. Okay. Two more. Everything reminds me of you. It was just bad timing. So see, when you guys came together, whenever it was like in the past, it was just not the right time. But this is also about divine timing, right? Universe is saying it wasn't the right time and it wasn't the right time for the DM either. Everything reminds me of you. Oh my gosh, look at this. The very last card in the reading. What did I say? Your essence is healing to me. It's crazy, right? Like, you know what? I'm just going to get one romance angel card. One romance angel card. For the divine feminine. Whoa, thank you. I love you. Straight off the bat. These are powerful words. And then the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Yeah, see, there's a lot going behind the background. There's children involved here for many of you. Um, but they're working on things. They're getting out of it or they've gotten out of it. They know where they belong. Um, also, the heart of the matter is getting down to the heart of the matter, okay? You've got 4-4 four, four here, all right? Um, this is angels. It's being divinely guided, led, protected, all of that, right? Like you've been protected, but this person is in love with you. They love you. And then bottom of the deck, actions speak loudly. See, actions speak louder than words. This person wants to show you, not just tell you. They want to show you how they feel. They want to show you that they love you. So... We'll see what happens, you guys. So I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, if this is your message, again, claim it by subscribing and liking this video. Um, if you want to hone in on your own situationship, um, your twin flame journey, anything of like like that, whatever. Um, I do readings on just about anything. <laughs> uh, you can find the info below in the description box. I am still doing personals at this time. I don't know how much longer I will be doing them, but for right now, I am. So um, pricing is all below. Email me. We'll get you guys set up. So I love you. Sending you love and light. And I'll see you soon.